Hello everyone, Weather Jamaica here. Welcome to this updated video on the weather across Jamaica and the Caribbean. It is Friday evening, December 2nd, 2022. Now before we jump into it, please ensure that you guys like the video, share it, subscribe and tap notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I post a brand new video. Also, feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section letting me know what the weather has been like in your area recently. Feel free to also ask questions about what the weather will be like in your specific area as well. I respond to all comments and I really live for this stuff. Alright, so let us take a look at a significant feature map across the Atlantic for this evening. We can see where we still have a cold front situated all the way across the northern Atlantic down into the Bahamas. And we still have a trough right there to the northeast of the Caribbean. And we can also see that outlined if we actually take a look at the visible satellite images. We see that cold front, all the clouds associated with it stretching down into the Bahamas. Some of it that's going to get um, caught up down into the Jamaica area some more, some of that rainfall. And we have those clouds associated with that trough as well. Alright, moving on. Let us take a look at what was forecasted for today, yesterday. It was stated that we would have some rainfall across portions of northern and eastern Jamaica on Friday. And that indeed did happen along with the strong winds that were predicted from all of these northeasterly trade winds. Lots of wind was taking place across the island last night into today as well, especially across the north coast of the island. And a post was also made at 4.50 a.m. this morning showing some rainfall across portions of northern Jamaica and it also fell throughout the day as we had a lot of clouds. Here we have another post at 9.11 a.m. Lots more clouds coming in from the north bringing more rainfall to portions of northern Jamaica some of which spilled into sections of southern Jamaica bringing some isolated rainfall there or light rainfall there as well. And if we actually take a look at the visible satellite images showing the entire loop, let, let's say this is from about 2 p.m. or 3 p.m. today, we can see all of those concentration of clouds across portions of northern Jamaica, bringing lots of rain to portions of those spots. We don't have much in the way of afternoon convection anymore as we wrap up the dry season. The Doppler radar images, as you know, show the rainfall as opposed to the satellite images that show clouds. And we can also still see some more rainfall coming into portions of northeastern Jamaica, so maybe Portland, St. Mary, St. Anne, still getting in on some evening rainfall at this time. Let's take a look at the forecast for tomorrow. For tomorrow, this is 7 a.m. on Saturday, according to the Euro, we still have that northeasterly flow across the entire island. And the GFS is showing something similar. So we know that we still have those northeasterly trades coming in. So anywhere from 15 to 25 knot winds are still possible. And yesterday we had a 32 degree Celsius temperature across Jamaica. Look at the temperatures today. It's starting to decrease 28 degrees Celsius. Basically in line with what Haiti is experiencing right there across the entire Caribbean though. Anywhere from 24 up to 28 degrees celsius the warmest temperature on this map can be seen right there western portions of nicaragua and if we also take a look at a close-up in terms of temperature we know that the windy.com website shows the temperatures as well we can see we have a 23 degrees celsius across portions of moran bay 24 in port antonio the lowest temperatures however are located in albert town right there in southern trelawney as well as 21 degrees celsius in Mandeville and Linstead. Okay, so those areas are, are experiencing some chilly conditions. Had some reports from commenters talking about how cold it actually is right in those spots. And that's just the beginning because if we take a look at the, the temperature forecast according to the Euro, look at where we're at right now. We're basically in the whites, light blues. And look at the future maps showing all of that blue coming down into the Caribbean. And we're only going just 120 hours out. That's the next five days. Just like what the, U the, the U.S. National Hurricane Center would do. Talk about just the five um, days in the future. Look at all that blue across the Caribbean. We're not saying that it's going to be, you know, terribly cold 
freezing temperatures or anything like that this is just showing below normal temperatures temperatures that we're normally used to so up in the 30 degrees so more than likely the high temperatures would be anywhere between let's say 26 to 29 degrees celsius and that's on the euro and if we actually take a look at the next one jan 20 hours for the gfs gfs is a bit more bullish showing darker blues okay so maybe that's even negative three degrees celsius below average so let's say let's call it between anywhere between 24 to 29 degrees celsius below average look at the next one john 20 hours very cold the next five days across majority of the caribbean all courtesy of that cold front all right moving on let us take a look at the mountain areas the mountain region across the jamaica area if we actually take a look we see where all of this you know highland is represented by the yellows oranges and reds the highest um points across the entire island as you know the highest point is the blue mountain peak that's right there to the northeast of kingston north of st thomas south of portland and this all comes in line with what we've been talking about for the past week We've been talking about all of this relief rainfall that we keep seeing taking place. So all of that moist air coming in from the northeast, coming into portions of Portland, St. Mary, St. Anne, and going all the way up into the mountain. All of that is rising, forming clouds, and all of that rainfall is coming all the way down on those mountains. Then we have that rain shadow on the right-hand side. First of all, we've had some persons asking, what is relief rainfall what is rain shadow no problem i shall explain relief rainfall or orographic rainfall that's another name for it is formed when the air is forced to cool when it rises over relief features in the landscape such as hills or mountains as it rises it cools condenses and forms rain so that is what we've been seeing happening for the past couple of days across jamaica especially on the north coast of the island but what is the rain shadow it says a rain shadow is a patch of land that has become a desert because mountain ridges block much of the rainfall necessary for plant growth however in jamaica we won't see a dry desert on the south side of the island because we don't have a consistent northeasterly flow across the island we have more of an easterly flow so we still get rainfall on the south coast either way but right now in the dry season this is where we usually have some droughts taking place especially when we get into the month of february and we look at the drought monitor maps we see lots of the drought taking place across the southern parishes so it makes perfect sense that the northern portions of jamaica will be abundant in the rainfall and you know the the accumulation of you know water in your pipes and so on but southern jamaica not so much and this is all due to the relief rainfall that we are going to be experiencing during the dry season so if we actually look at the accumulated precipitation map all the way up to 3z on sunday when we calculate that that is 10 pm on saturday we can have anywhere between 0.1 to almost let's all right let's look at what this is showing it's showing most of the rainfall on the euro model going all the way up to 1.16 inches of rainfall in portions of saint mary portions of saint james trelawney saint anne and portland getting in under rainfall as well as saint thomas as well what does the gfs show the concentration of rain is over portland look at that the total is 1.27 inches of rainfall right there off the coast of portland majority of this rainfall showing across portions of saint thomas portland and saint mary okay so we see a bit of disagreement with where the rainfall is located either way northern jamaica is bound to receive a lot more rainfall during the next 24 hours all the way up to 10 pm on saturday so it makes sense that when we look at our precipitation forecast by our workers here with the jamaica they made another post similar to the last two posts in the previous days the weather is not going to be changing anytime soon more rainfall is being expected across portions of northern and eastern jamaica according to both models and with all of this rainfall there's a chance of some isolated flash flooding if not some you know landslides mudslides whatever the case may be all the way up into the hilly inland or mountainside areas all right so that's it for the forecast across jamaica just briefly talk about the forecast across the caribbean so as was stated we have a cold front across the northern atlantic stretching down into the bahamas and we have a trough to the northeast 
of the Caribbean and we can actually see those clouds that represent those significant features on the maps. We can also see some clouds pushing into portions of Mexico, Belize, Nicaragua and Honduras as well as Costa Rica. We can also see some clouds going into portions of Venezuela as well as affecting portions of Grenada, Tobago, Trinidad and Barbados. And if we actually take a look at the radar, we can actually see all of those clouds putting all of that rainfall. We know that the Doppler radar images show the rainfall. Satellite images show the clouds. So we can actually see the actual rainfall taking place. All of those greens and blues and maybe even some yellows in there in the same spot. Mexico, Belize, Nicaragua, the ABC Island, Venezuela, Grenada, Barbados, and maybe even Trinidad and Tobago getting in on some of that rainfall. And if we actually take a look at the forecast for tomorrow across those spots, um, this is 7 a.m. on the Euro. On Saturday, we have a northeast LFO across the majority of the Caribbean, the strongest winds across the Greater Antilles, in including the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, and Cuba. The GFS is showing something similar. And if we actually take a look at the precipitation forecast now, where do we have majority of the rainfall? The very same spots. So, northeastern portions of eastern Cuba, northern Hispaniola, northern Puerto Rico, northern Jamaica, um, Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, Venezuela, as well as Grenada, Barbados, Tobago, and Trinidad. That's on the Euro though. What does the GFS show? Something very similar. And we know that when we have consensus like this, the chances of it actually happening are higher okay so that we so we hope that you all take necessary precautions that you're not that drastically affected thank you all so much for watching please ensure that you guys like comment and subscribe do enjoy your weekend bye bye now